Hey there everybody, Racecrafter here with another Minecraft Suburban House Showcase Tour, uh, Episode 3, Suburban House Number 2. Um, back in Episode 1, I had said that I had like a whole bunch of videos pre-recorded, I was going to be putting up stuff on a regular basis, and while that is all totally true, after thinking about it and re-watching the videos a couple times, I realized that showing incomplete builds for a showcase tour was pretty lame. I mean, you guys don't want to see half a thing, you want to see the whole thing. That's like the definition of a showcase, show complete builds. So that's what I'm going to do from now on, I will be showing complete builds. So I went back and uh, furnished all the places that uh, I had built, uh, you know, landscape, yard work, interiors, all that stuff. And all the new builds that I've been doing, um, I've been completing them, so I would be able to put these videos out and do the full showcase of everything furnished and the full the full deal. Um, this suburban house is my newest build, and uh, it's you know it's your typical suburban house again, but uh, <coughs> excuse me. Just getting over a cold here again. Uh, up in the top corner here, you will see, shortly see my inspiration thumbnail, and uh, you know it's kind of similar. But, you know that's what inspiration is. Just you know use your own creativity and change things around to suit you know how you're feeling or how you want to build it. So we'll just take a look around here. You know, I use the sandstone as the base. Uh, use a little band that wraps around the whole house, just to kind of break it up a little bit, give it a little, little detail, a little dimension. And the backyard here has got a nice pool. Uh, it's all sandstone, little pergola with uh, fences and fence gates. Um, the house is uh, always double walled. Um, the windows this time I used. Uh, glass panes rather than blocks. Um, I got away from my my stereo, or not my stereotype, but my my thing with windows and slabs. There's a couple slabs there, but it's not the same. And, uh, you know, you got that little extension there that jets out over the edge and over the front. So let's uh, take a walk inside and see what we got going on. And like every house, <coughs> excuse me, we just break in, and uh, here in the front foyer, we got a little uh, floor mat there. Put your shoes on, uh, some hooks here to hang your coat. Uh, got a little uh, bench over there, kind of sit down while you're taking off your shoes. And uh, here we've got two car garage. I uh, haven't really played around building cars yet, so I don't have any kind of cars to kind of showcase. Uh, might be something I'll be working on soon, but I've just been concentrating more on building structures, houses, things like that. Um, here we got the living room, a uh, nice big open area. Um, that's a, like a faux skylight up there. Um, if you use slabs on a roof, the natural light will seep through, so it's, you kind of get some of that natural light. So didn't have to use so many lights. I mean, I do like using a lot of lights. I like everything lit up. Nice and bright, and uh, got my my little signature player head skull there. You'll see that in all my builds. Uh, dining room, kitchen. Here we just got like a informal eating area. You know, breakfast, whatever. You don't want to sit at the dining table. Uh, fridge. You know, typical things. Uh, the brown carpet there on the island is like a built-in cutting board. I've seen that in quite a few homes where the cutting board is built <coughs> excuse me again built right into the the island um, here we've got a game room a pool table little buttons for balls hoppers for the pockets a game table over here um, this is my attempt at uh, Q rack I'm not quite sure which one looks better if you come onto the side here you can definitely tell that's not a Q but if you look at it from this angle it looks like a Q and uh, just, you know, I use pressure plates instead of carpet on the side. While there's spaces in between those pressure plates, the carpet, I just didn't really like the texture. It's got like a brick texture to it. While those got brick, that looks more like wood. 
and you know the spaces aren't a deal breaker so I'm cool with that and then uh, back here into the living room big open area and here on the railing you use some levers and if you squint real tight and in a dark room it kind of looks like a railing going up there so kind of left it like that and uh, we'll take a walk upstairs here check it out and on the right here we got a bathroom uh, glass shower a uh, bathtub in the back there some shelving little decorations here and there and uh, over here above the sink I kind of use glass to kind of mimic um, a mirror uh, sometimes I, if if possible I use like iron blocks behind it to kind of give it the reflectiveness um, again hoppers for sinks the cauldrons in this city texture pack for the Xbox doesn't the cauldrons look like wood flower pots so I, I'm using hoppers got a little seat inside there in the in the shower here we got the trap door and the thing on the thing on the toilet and the button there on the wall is to kind of show you it, to be for the toilet paper Got to have toilet paper in a toilet, man. Anyway, master bedroom here, a little seating area, looking out the window. Um, big bed. The carpet kind of shows, like, the, the beds, your sheets were, like, pulled over. Um, in this texture pack, that stained terracotta comes in all, like, weird funky colors and patterns. So here I use the iron blocks between the or behind the glass to kind of mimic a mirror trap doors here on the dressers um, again another faux skylight since the uh, slabs lit in some light even though I got that I still I'm pretty sure I put lights underneath there yeah I did lights underneath the carpet the lights shine through the carpet so you can just hide the the lights while still getting the effect of the light so down here the hallway end of the hallway we got a little elf closet just for storage or whatever. I call it elf closet because the, the little doors, they're so small compared to what I've been doing. Anyway, here we got the boys room. Uh, cool little colorful fort play area here. And uh, over here we got a little desk with a computer. And then on the windowsills I used a colored carpet. Um, just kind of, you know, splash up colors. And uh, I've got two boys and it's just kind of typical boys to leave their dresser drawers open and their toy box open so I'll just be a dad here and close them up real quick here are more stained terracotta uh, kinda looks like one of those huge stuffed animals you got like the carnival you like throw darts at balloons or have those water gun races where you squirt it into the hole I don't know just kinda looks like a big old teddy bear and then that <coughs> excuse me over on this side, we got the girls' room. Uh, a wicked splash of color with the purple and pink and the magenta. Uh, I'm definitely not the type of person that wears or has a lot of color in my life. I like black cars. I like black clothes. Uh, I think white, maybe even red, would be as far as I go with colors for me personally. But, you know, wanted to do something different. <coughs> Excuse me. With these builds. Oh. I put glowstone next to the, I use snow for the pillows to layer them up, and obviously that glowstone was too close and it melted the snow there. Poor girl, she got half a pillow. Let's put that pillow back. There you go. And, uh, oh, missing a piece of carpet over here. Put that back. There we go. And again, you know, I could have put that stained terracotta purple and pink stuff like built into the wall because the walls are doubled but I kind of like the way that it stands out it gives it some depth just kind of some funkiness going on too so uh, that's the upstairs and uh, go back downstairs here and check it out use this paintings just so there's just not big old plain white walls paintings aren't super great in this city texture pack but at least it's something and it's not just a big old plain white wall. Yeah, I love that skull. So uh, let's go in the backyard here. We'll check out the pool. 
And um, I'm not really sure. I know I saw this somewhere in a video where you used iron bars inside the, the glass there for to kind of act as a handle. I, f I wish I knew who it was because I would, I would give credit for that because that's not my idea. So I used his snow here to use a, for a lip on the edge of the pool. Little diving board here. And I will take a dip real quick. Here we go. Get him, bull! Uh, pool's just too deep. Um, but you still go underwater. You still got to kind of bob around. A nice, relaxing swim on a hot summer day. Uh, shake it like a dog. Shake it like a dog. More stained terracotta patterns here. Uh, depending on how you place those stained uh, terracotta blocks, they fit kind of like a puzzle into a pattern, but it can be real difficult sometimes to place them the way you want them in certain areas. But here we'll just take a walk around at eye level, or at ground level. And, you know, get the bushes uh, kind of like growing up the side there. Taking a little swing around the place. The roof, the roof's all slabs. Um, I don't know why I put smoke there. There's no fire in the fireplace. I use hoppers at the top of the chimney. Uh, some cobblestone and some fence posts for some uh, detail vents or fans or whatever on top of the roof. And uh, the roof is kind of tricky. Uh, there's a lot of little uh, hips and valleys in it, but uh, it turned out pretty good. I like this place. And that's our Super Suburban House number two showcase tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I inspired you with some ideas or anything that would help you in your builds. And if you like it, please show your support. I would really appreciate it by hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel. See what I got coming up next. I got some cool stuff. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out of here. See ya.